Let's talk about fun. Fun is something that we don't talk about very much in the context of work, because we have this really deep-seated idea that comes from the Puritans, that fun is shameful. Fun means that we're not doing the right thing, and certainly fun isn't something that should be happening at work. But in fact, fun is really good in the workplace. Fun helps productivity. This is something that we've known since Aristotle, who said, pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. Research shows it over and over again. So the Dora team, again, found that organizational performance was best predicted by job satisfaction. If people were happy in the work, the organization did well. And we see this at an individual level as well. If people are in a positive frame of mind, they're 31% more productive than if they had a neutral or negative state of mind. How do you get a positive state of mind? That seems like quite a complicated thing. It's not just watching cat videos. Well, actually, it is literally as simple as watching cat videos. If people watch a comedy video and then do a task, they're 12% more productive at that task than if they hadn't watched the comedy video. So this is something that's really easy sort of, to achieve, and it has a lot of business benefits. There are, of course, some cautions. We can't spend all our time watching cat videos or we wouldn't get the benefit of the productivity. It's a bit like washing the dishes. You have to do some stuff you maybe didn't want to do, but you shouldn't spend all of the time washing dishes and you shouldn't spend all of the time being miserable at work because it's not going to help anybody. Another risk with fun is that sometimes fun can go wrong and it can turn into trolling or bullying. So we do need to make sure that everyone is having fun. If we're laughing, we need to think about who's included in our laughter and who's excluded from the laughter. Is that the organizational boundary? Is that the group division that we want? But I think if we take those little restrictions, we can have so much good feeling and so much happiness and better results if we try and introduce fun at work. Funnily enough, the first thing to do if you want to introduce fun at work isn't to add beach balls or ping pong tables or anything like that. It's to get rid of the unfun things. When we find a process unfun, it's usually an indication that it's wasteful that we know we're not adding value, that we know we're not being useful when we do it. So if we can get rid of that waste, then that gives us a really good foundation to go forward and start having fun. And then we can do things like the ping pong tables. Ping pong tables do actually have two benefits. They give you a break, which helps solve problems, and they also give you exercise, which is good for the body and for the brain. So once we've got the ping pong tables, once we've got rid of all the waste, where are we? Hopefully, we're happier, the people around us are happier, and the business is doing better. What's not to like?